so paranasal senses as you know they are uh, the uh, air senses that are present in the skull 18 number that is four pairs so maxillary ethmoidal spinoidal and frontal so as you could see maxillary ethmoidal spinoidal and frontal i could say so maxillary located over here as you know frontal over here spinoidal within the center of the skull okay ethmoidal in between the two eyeballs okay in between the two lamina papyrus if you take two lamina papyrus like this you have got the ethmoidal sinuses in between them so i am trying to tell the basic alignment of this so we'll see the first question among this sinus which is not present at birth sinus which is not present at birth so options here are maxillary ethmoidal frontal and all of the above so there is one small thing which you have to remember f f goes for 4 but not 4 what is f it is equal to 6 s goes for 6 but not 6 what is s s for 4 so frontal sinus first radiological evidence you can see at 6 years of age frontal sinus at 6 years of age spinoidal sinus at 4 years of age if you can remember that so which sinus is not present at birth you could see here is f is at 6 years as i told you so f is at 6 years as simple as that to remember as we know this frontal sinus is at 6 years and spinoidal sinus is at spinoidal sinus is at 4 years as you could remember this one so this 6 years and 4 years are easily rememberable for by us and then which says that at birth maxillary and ethmoidal are there and later on you could say spinoidal and frontal this is the order like you could remember very easily so maxillary ethmoidal spinoidal and frontal are the order of development of this frontal uh, this uh, paranasal sinuses as you could see here next is So according to our understanding the answer here would be like frontal sinus C is the frontal sinus at birth only the maxillary and ethmoidal sinuses are present and are large enough to be clinically significant this can be asked otherwise also what of the sinuses cannot be involved at birth so you can see that it is a frontal sinus that is not there so maxillary and ethmoidal you can just remember like I am born by with me 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 and me 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 you can just remember me 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 is present at birth most superior sinus in the face is so as i already told you here is the frontal sinus in between the eyes in between the two eyeballs will be your ethmoidal sinus and within the center of the skull will be your spinoid sinus and the rest of things is maxillary sinus which is present at this level you put your finger on the cheek it is a maxillary sinus so most superior sinus will be the frontal sinus so most superior sinus if somebody asks you can say that as frontal sinus most posterior sinus that is in the center of the skull as you can see it is in the center nearly uh, that is a spinoid sinus and the largest sinus the largest sinus is the maxillary sinus called as antrum of high more the name itself suggests the scientist name is high more more is maximum for maxillary sinus 15 milliliters 15 ml is present as a volume of this maxillary sinus antrum of high more so the largest sinus being the this uh, maxillary sinus most common paranasal sinus involved in fibrous dysplasia so fibrous dysplasia is a type of tumor which is going to get this fibrous dysplasia maxillary sinus frontal sinus ethmoidal sinus and spinoidal sinus so fibrous dysplasia is most common among which sinus they are asking like the answer here is maxillary sinus so wherein you can see frontal sinus is more commonly involved with the osteoma frontal sinus osteoma you can see a small swelling over this part frontal sinus osteoma frontal sinus osteoma so ethmoidal sinus as you could see more commonly associated with this cavernous sinus thrombosis cavernous sinus thrombosis so spinoid sinus so wherein the variations 
uh, can be seen in this sphenoid sinus anatomically like placement of this pituitary along with sphenoid sinus are seen so fibrous dysplasia a tumor which is more common with maxillary sinus ground glass appearance of maxillary sinus is seen in so ground glass appearance of maxillary sinus is seen in a maxillary sinusitis b maxillary carcinoma c maxillary polyp and d maxillary fibrous dysplasia just as simple as that this ground glass appearance something related to your tumor maxillary sinusitis what is there so there is opacification of the maxillary sinus in the ct scan or in the x-ray wherein so air fluid level will be there if it is an acute sinusitis there is a lot of collection of pus in the maxillary sinus i told you 15 ml so once you are bending the patient like this and taking an x-ray it becomes as if the shifting in the air fluid levels that is acute maxillary sinusitis so it cannot be like that maxillary carcinoma as you could see this carcinoma is like a growth within the maxilla going towards medially maxillary polyp so polyp is the haziness that can be seen inside the ct scan and maxillary fibrous dysplasia being the fourth one the probable answer here is the maxillary fibrous dysplasia i'll show you how so maxillary fibrous dysplasia so this is an opg not obg it is opg opg like a postgraduate pg is it ortho pan tomogram it is taking from ortho pan complete picture of this all the complete picture of all the teeth that you are seeing over here ortho pan tomogram showing a mixed radio lucent radio opaque lesion in the right maxillary sinus region so where is the right maxillary sinus so this is the mandible this is the maxilla so this particular part is showing a mixed radio opacity in the maxillary sinus this is the maxillary sinus so this is the condyle of the mandible this part this is the condyle of the mandible which you are able to see over here is here and then you are coming down mandible and these are the vertebrae on either side and here will be your styloid process if there is any styloid process enlargement called as eagle syndrome eagles syndrome so eagle syndrome your styloid process will be here okay like your eagle is coming before your kudabakshi is coming is it or not the styloid process is enlarged in eagle syndrome which we will see afterwards so this is the coronoid process and this part will be the overlapping of our maxillary sinus on this particular picture so this is the maxilla so you could see the nose ring over here this is the nose piercing over here so these are the upper teeth these are the lower teeth you could see that left side maxilla is free and right side maxilla is having a really a remixed radiolucent opaque radio opaque lesion with premolar and maxillary region giving a ground glass appearance it is just like something like ground glass appearance poetic terminology in radiology okay ground glass appearance okay